Hi there, me, your friendly neighborhood humble stroke consultant with Crash the Wonderbird, right over here. Yes, Crash and I and my girlfriend have had a fairly healthy, happy, overfed Christmas. Uh, I hope you are having the same. Um, I realize for people that have had a stroke, concussion, or a brain injury, the holidays can be a very difficult period of time to have to deal with, uh, be it for emotional ability reasons, be it for sensory overput or uh, sensory defensiveness, you know, uh, be it for, for those of us with aphasia, um, uh, having to do the, the talks, uh, you know, and then there's a lot of change in routine. So for those of you that are dealing with the, uh, the surviving, the, the aftermath of a stroke, concussion, or brain injury, I totally understand some of what you may be going through over the past couple of days and what's about to happen in Three days time. <clears throat> yeah, that's me reading the calendar. Uh, so New Year's Eve, again, that'll be a, a big sensory overload. So just for those of you that are around someone that has a sensory deficit disorder, uh, be it from a brain injury, stroke, concussion, just be mindful. You know, they might need to take some quiet breaks now and again. Now on that note, um... On the th 30th, I'm going to upload the final comments and questions and response videos uh, for 2019. Uh, that'll clear out 2019, and then we can start fresh in the new year. And in the new year, I'm going to slightly change the direction of the channel just a titch. Um, going to start every other Wednesday doing Wordy Wednesdays. Uh, someone le recently left a comment on one of my videos about apraxia and aphasia after stroke. So keep in mind, <clears throat> I'm not a speech path, I'm not a language path, I'm not a speech or language pathologist, I have no professional accreditation, no I don't, I'm not qualified that way, I have no professional accreditation um, in um, like speech and language pathology, occupational therapy, but I will endeavor to find some uh, resources that we can do together, so to speak, <clears throat> and, and help develop some skills that maybe need refinement. Because the question was, well, what did it take for your aphasia? Honesty? <clears throat> some of my language skills came back all on their own. Some of them completely just in three to six weeks after the stroke, they just sort of came back on their own. Um, I did speech and language therapy, I believe, three times, but by the time I got to see the, um, the SPL, I'd already kind of functioned out of what the province of Ontario would pay for. Now, through my employer, I could still get benefits for speech and language pathology. I've been considering maybe doing that just for funds, uh, but my girlfriend has a master's in English. So she actually did attend a couple um, of my sessions, uh, or I would tell her about the sessions. So we would do some simple things at home uh, that would help reinforce the activities. You're really talking today. Is there something you want to talk about? No? Okay, good. Um, we would reinforce... <clears throat> Uh, some of the, the lessons or, 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 or situations that were brought up. So we will we'll endeavor to do that. Um, now, I have expressive aphasia, so I can speak more relevant, with more relevance. With more relevance. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, about expressive aphasia. Um, so I might not be as knowledgeable just simply due to experience but we'll endeavor to do that. And then if that turns out to have some value, uh, I might start doing every other Friday as a functional Friday. Yeah, you like the sound of that? Uh, the first will be learning how to prepare um, a, a cockatiel with a light butter and basil sauce. That'll be the first thing we're gonna learn how to do. So, and functional Fridays will be some simple, again, occupational therapy type strategies you can do at home with things, are, no, at home. Uh, you can do at home with things that you have readily available, be it jars, 
be it uh, playing cards, be it coins, be it um, you know simple things you can purchase at your local hardware store. So, and and we'll go through some of that. So, and if that works out, we'll keep that format for a while. Of every other Wednesday uh, will be Wordy Wednesdays, and every other Friday will be Functional Fridays. Uh, something I've been thinking about for a while, but after that comment that got left uh, a couple days ago, I was kind of like, maybe this week we could do that. So if that's something you'd like to see me do, you can either reach me on the comment section down below, or you can email me at strokeassaulter at gmail.com, uh, or you can find me on the Twitter. Uh, again, um, it's a Salter Stroke because I couldn't get Stroke Assaulter. And I recently have the Instagrams. So... Um, yeah, I just, just look for Stroke Assaulter on Instagram. I'm new to this whole multi-platform social media thing, so please. There's no Facebook. There's no Patreon. Um, I don't have a you know, Discord server or any of that, so I don't have that. So, for those of you that have, for the first time, going through a major holiday period after your event, whatever that was, right? It's difficult, right? There's a, a lot of hustle and bustle. There's a lot of going through the stores. I'm still extremely no noise sensitive. Um, not so much to him, but uh, anything ab above um, 70 decibels, I'm not really tolerant to. So I have to wear earplugs in stores. And, you know, yesterday we went out and did some shopping and I was completely prepared for it. Um, had my sunglasses, had my contacts, uh, had the earbuds, was fairly proactive about putting the earplugs in fairly fairly soon. But uh, the ambient noise with the music and the hustle and bustle, specifically in a grocery store, uh, <laughs> not such a good idea. So it, it kind of you know, kind of screwed up a little bit of the evening. Um, because once you hit a certain tipping point, at least in my experience, I got to go lie down, right? It's just the best coping strategy I've found thus far. So for those of you that are new to this, no, you're not crazy, right? You're, no, you're not being unrealistic, right? Know what your experience in around the extra sensory input, be that noise, be that sound, be that activity, no, that's not your mind making things up and, and you overestimating or underestimating your abilities. Sensory sensitivity, sensory defensiveness, or a sensory processing disorder uh, because of um, a stroke, brain injury, concussion, autism, Asperger's, PTSD, uh, or also could be known as an OSI for those of you that uh, are in the mill, law enforcement, EMS, or fire. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. It truly is a thing. Um, I didn't know about it till I had my stroke, right? I, I, and I didn't truly know about it uh, until after it impacted me. So, so what we're gonna do uh, going forward, if everyone could just leave a comment in the comment section down below, but your ideas about doing every other Wednesdays, uh, a wordy Wednesday, every other Fridays, uh, a functional Fridays, if the wordy Wednesdays catches on, and we'll just go through some, no, 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 no hair plucking today, my friend. Uh, we'll just go through some basic strategies to deal with aphasia, uh, communication deficits, and then if that is, is uh, useful and is meaningful and people are getting uh, gainful, uh, effective strides out of that, we'll then advance that into functional Fridays where we can discuss and demonstrate some simple things that you can do at home to help further your um, progression. Right? Because a lot of people are going to say, well, why are you here? And how come I can't be there? And, and why do you have use of this limb or you're able to do this thing and I'm not? I did a video about comparing your stroke to my stroke. Um, I did a video about um, stroke recovery timelines. I've also done a video about uh, goal setting after stroke. And... Ultimately, every stroke is unique. Every stroke is different. Everyone's outcome is unique. Everyone's outcome is different. And it, it serves no... Basically, it serves no useful purpose to try to compare you to me, me to you, 
on, on, a, on a specific um, checkmark to checkmark basis. Uh, because there are still things that I can't do that maybe you can. Um, and, and there are so many You find there's so many unique and fine points about a stroke. What side of the brain was your stroke on? What part of that side of the brain was your stroke on? Was it a TIA? Was it hemorrhagic? Was it ischemic? How how structurally impacting was that event? You know, where were you in the intervention? Like, did they get you to the hospital in the quote unquote golden hour? Right. Were you diagnosed and the treatment started within three hours? Like, did all, there's so many factors in there. Um, having seen my grandmother, she, she passed many years ago. Um, having seen my grandmother um, and what happened to her after her stroke. And I've said this before. Her and I probably had the exact same stroke. We probably had, in many ways, the exact same stroke the benefit I had was people watched me go down the difficulty she had. Nobody knew when she went down and how, how long she'd been down for. So they weren't able to do certain things for her, uh, such as TPA. So she was, she was irrevocably altered, right? There was, there's was like time might've brought some of that back, but the reality is probably not. So on that note, just enjoy your New Year's. Be safe. Be happy. Be mindful of what you're able to do, what you'd like to do, and what you shouldn't do. I'm guilty of this. I'm completely guilty. Oops, sorry, buddy. Sorry, my friend. I'm completely guilty of that, right? Uh, there are days where I know what I can do. There's days where I know what I should do, quote, unquote. Like, you probably should not do that. And there's days where I just sort of like push through and I end up in bed for three hours. So just be mindful what you're able to do. Be mindful what you can do. And just accept the fact that you may need to take quiet breaks. Just accept the fact that your world does look just a little bit different. And just educate those around you that maybe this New Year's Eve that, uh, you know, you might have to step outside for some quiet breaks or, or, or whatnot. And if you are on medication that may um, preclude alcohol, please be responsible. Right? Don't be drinking, driving, drinking medication, any of that, uh, any of that nonsense. So if you like what you've been watching over the past um, 18 months, please like, share, subscribe. If you know someone that's going through the, uh, the, um, the recovery of a brain injury, a concussion, a stroke, Please point the channel out to them. Get them to like, share, subscribe. If you know someone that's supporting someone, don't do that. If you know someone that's supporting someone going through the uh, the recovery from a stroke, a brain injury, please point the channel out to them. They may get some genuine benefit and usefulness out of the, the content I generate. And if you happen to see around you or either uh, in yourself the signs or symptoms of a stroke, that one it would be someone who appears to be immediately befuddled, confused, has lost your sense of balance. Some of those vision problems, they have an issue with their eyes somehow. They can't see it in one eye. They can't see in one direction. They only see in grayscale. They see a little dot in the world. There's a noticeable visual slackening of the facial muscles. Someone who can't raise both arms equally, effectively, or at all. Someone who can't smile equally, effectively, or at all. Someone has slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate language for situation or context. Uh, someone has general body weakness, weakness on one side, or the inability to stand unaided. Please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.